Hi guys, today I wanted to show you something cool that we did for one of our customers recently, part of the solution which uh, has to do with automating of calendar appointments. And in this case, the solution used Microsoft Flow, Outlook, as well as Twilio to send customer appointments. So let's take a look at the details of what I'm talking about here. What I have here is my regular Outlook calendar, and in here I have two appointments, one for measurement and estimate and installation. Both of these appointments are due tomorrow and those are one hour appointments. What I want to be able to do is send my customers an SMS text messages reminding them that this appointment is due tomorrow. And I want to make sure that they receive the, the SMS text messages within 24 hours of the appointment. So whether this appointment is you know, tomorrow or on Friday, I want to make sure that 24 hours before the appointment of any future appointments, uh, these customers are going to get the text message. So how do I how do I go about that? Well, first things first, uh, I'm going to sign up for Twilio, which is super easy. You just go to twilio.com and sign up for a trial. What you'll get as a result, you'll get a two uh, two pieces of authentication associated to your Microsoft Flow account, so that Microsoft Flow can use Twilio to send messages to phone numbers. Assuming that you already signed up for Twilio and you have these two pieces of information, let's go ahead and create a new flow and see what happens next. So I'm going to click create from, from blank. And from different templates here, I'm going to pick Office 365 Outlook. One thing to note here, you don't have to just use Outlook. You can actually use Gmail and other connectors here. So in my case, I'm just going to use Outlook because it's easier for me. But if your customer is using other calendaring solutions, there are actually connectors here that connect you to uh, other calendaring solutions. So one of the triggers that I'm going to use for this case, I'm going to use when an upcoming event is starting soon. So I'm going to click, I'm going to click that. And next thing I need to pick is a calendar. So I want to make sure that I'm, that I'm monitoring the right calendar. So in this case, I have two of my accounts, the Origami Connect account, that's the calendar that I want to use. So I'm going to switch that and the system will right away show me different calendars available for that, uh, for that account. And the next thing I'm going to do is click show advanced options here. And I'm going to say um, the look ahead time is going to be uh, 1440, which is 24 hours before an appointment, because I want to let my customers know 24 hours ahead of the appointment so they can go ahead and cancel uh, or call me and let me know that they want to cancel it um, and not just show up late. So uh, once that's specified, I'm going to show, I'm going to click on the next step. I'm going to say add an action. And from the templates of actions here, I'm going to pick Twilio. And I'm going to pick send a text message action. In here, if you haven't done it already, for the first time, Twilio will ask you for your two pieces of authentication code, so you're going to need to enter them here. But once you enter them here, they're associated to your uh, Flow account, and you can just configure these actions as I'm doing it right now. So first things, I need to specify my phone number from which the text message is going to be sent from. I'm going to pick one of my phone numbers. In the next field, I need to specify the customer phone number to which the text message is going to be sent to. So in my case, I'm going to use their uh, location field. So in here, I'm going to specify my customer's phone number as well as for this appointment. So this is where Flow System is going to be reading my phone numbers from. Let's switch back. Okay, so I'm going to specify the phone number to be taken from display name field, which is the field in Outlook. And in here, I just provide a text of my text message. I may want to be extra friendly and even say, what's the subject of the appointment? So I say, hey, your appointment for subject is due tomorrow at, at our start time. And then give us a call if you need to cancel and provide my phone number. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and create this flow. I'm going to click done and Microsoft will run the flow. I'm also running my cell phone here. Let's see if I get any text messages. And here they are. I have two text messages here, obviously because I'm CC'd or tagged on both of the appointments. But if I open them, I got reminders for both of my appointments. High appointment for measurement and estimate is due tomorrow. And of course, I get the full uh, time here. And as well, I have a reminder for my second appointment for installation. Now, if I want to cancel this appointment, I can just call this number, I can text back. See how easy that was? I didn't need to do any coding at all. And the cool thing that not only I can send the text messages when a new appointment is coming up, but also when the appointment is deleted or modified. 
See if I go back here and create a new flow under some of my Office 365 Outlook triggers, one of the things that I have is when an event is modified. So when the event is modified and deleted out of my calendar, I can actually send a text message to the customer saying, hey, your appointment has been modified and take an action from there, which reduces burden on administrative. And for example, reception is having to make hundreds of calls when someone calls in sick and can't make their appointment anymore. So this could be really, really huge. Also, from a setup perspective, I don't need to train anybody on how to use Flow or anything like that. All I need to tell people is to set up a new appointment, all you need to create is appointment in Outlook, which they're probably already doing. And instead of location, I put the customer cell phone number. That's it. And the beauty of it is that your customer doesn't even need to know that you're running Flow. Flow can be your backend process that monitors users' calendars and performs any sort of interaction, in this case, between Twilio and Outlook Calendar. In our case, we use Twilio's voice features to facilitate some of the interaction between the customers and automated voice response system. But in your case, you can run really simple scenarios really easily in about five minutes or so. Hope you liked this demo. Be sure to check out more in the future and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.